Hello, my name's Miss Clacey and I wanted to take this opportunity to say hello to you and to, for you to meet some of the key people here in our school. Usually of course by now we'd be coming into your primary school to talk about you coming up here for your transition day in July. But of course with the current situation at the moment with COVID-19 we won't be able to do that this year. Coming up to secondary school can be a little bit scary even at the best of times. So without that transition day in July, you might be feeling a little bit more anxious. Firstly, I wanted to say, it's really normal to be a bit apprehensive. And even though you won't be coming here this term, when you do eventually join us, we will make it as easy as possible. I say when you join us, because at the moment, we're still waiting for news from the government to advise us on what school will look like in September. However, the situation is changing every day and we will keep you and your parents and carers updated. I know that some of you may not have been in school since March and you might be worried that you're getting a little bit behind with your work. Please don't worry, we will support you to catch up and lots of people will be in the same position as you. At SPEN, the most important thing for us is you feel relaxed about coming to school and not anxious. Once you're in a good place emotionally, then you'll be able to cope with your work a whole lot better. We've got lots of staff that will support you with anything you need, and the students will help you find your way around and settle into life at Spen as well. It really doesn't take students that long at all to find their way around, and within a few weeks you'll look back and you'll wonder why you were ever worried at all. If I'm honest, it's much harder for your mums and dads and your families because they'll be more worried about you. But they can always ring us as well because we're here to support all of you. We've already started to contact your parents. We've sent out a couple of letters um, and I've started to ring them as well so that I can personally have a conversation about any of your anxieties or concerns. As you can imagine, it's taken me a bit of time. So if I haven't rung you already, don't worry. I will get round to it. Just bear with me. In the meantime, in all of our letters, there's an email address for you to contact Mr Frost, who's our Year 7 Achievement Coordinator. And if you've got any questions at all, it doesn't matter how big or how small, just drop us an email. Also, we're going to be sending you out a sheet with frequently asked questions, which might also help answer some of your queries. I am really looking forward to you all coming up to Spen. I honestly can't wait. Even though you haven't really started yet, I think of you as already being part of our school. So if you're doing anything whilst you're working from home, like painting or baking or writing stories, it'd be great if you can send them to us, just send them via the email address. There's also some activities on our website under remote learning that you might be interested in doing, including my general knowledge quiz. It just might make you feel part of SPEN. I better stop talking now, I could talk forever and, and let you meet some of the key people in this video. And don't forget, stay safe and see you soon. Thanks Miss Clacey. Hi there, my name's Mr Frost. I am the Year 7 Achievement Coordinator. So I'm the person who's helping you go from Year 6 from your primary schools into Year 7 with us at Spen Valley High School. I hope everyone's doing okay. You know, it's a funny time run, isn't it? You know, there's, you probably might be feeling a little bit anxious or a little bit scared about what's going to happen in September. And hopefully by seeing us and seeing a few familiar faces, we might start to alleviate some of those anxieties and stress that you might be having. I've got three children and my eldest son, Joel, he's also in year six. So as well as being a teacher, I'm also a dad and a parent. And I, I kind of know perhaps some of the things that you're going through. But I just want to tell you, actually, there's nothing to worry about. Actually, we're really excited to start to see our, our new cohort of, of students coming into year seven. And it might not be exactly how you wanted it to be, but you know what? We'll make the best of it and try and really, really have a great time with you. So like Miss Clacey has said, if you do have any questions or queries, please do feel free to get in touch with me. One of the things that we do at Spen Valley High School is to put you into a form group. And your form teacher is the person that you will see every morning, every single day, hopefully for the whole of your time at Spen Valley. 
So if you've got any kind of concerns or problems, your form teacher is the person that you could go to first. So without further ado, let me introduce you to your form teachers. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Dawson and I am a new science teacher and year 7 form tutor at Spen Valley High School. Hi year 7, my name is Mr Granger and I teach ethics. Hi, my name is Miss Thompson and I am looking forward to being a year 7 tutor this year. Hi year 7, my name is Mr Boyd, I'm in charge of the history department at Spen Valley. Hi, I'm Miss Ludbrook and I'm going to be one of the year 7 form tutors. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. My name is Mr West, I'm the head of e-learning. Um, which to you will mean computing. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Coward and I teach art and design at Spen. So I hope there's some budding artists out there amongst you. Hi guys and girls, uh, I am Mr Carr, uh, a maths teacher at Spen Valley High School. I've got a degree in biology and a master's degree where I spent a year looking at genetics and evolution. But when I'm not doing science, I'm spending time with my dog, Phoebe. Come here. Come here. The thing I really love about working at Spen is that it's a really inclusive place where um, we really care about one another um, and I think that you'll find that when you, when you start in September. I really love working at Spen, mainly because of the students and staff. The relationships are very positive um, you always feel welcome when you walk in the door um, and everybody's really friendly. I love working at Spen Valley main reason for that is that the students are so helpful there i'm sure you'll fit in with that and um, i've been at spend valley for a year and they've helped me out so much teach pe which i absolutely love so hopefully all of you lot will absolutely love pe lessons we've got a great curriculum coming up for next year i love it at spend i love it at spend the staff are fantastic the support team are fantastic um, everybody tries to look after each other I've been here about three years now and I love working at Spen. Number one, because I genuinely think our students are the best. I feel like I learn as much from them as they do from me, um, even if that is just TikTok dancing. And number two, trust me, it is never a boring day at Spen. There is always so much good stuff going on. Uh, one of the reasons I love working um, at Spen Valley uh, is the community environment within the school. Um, whether that be on a Monday morning when you walk into work or into school uh, and all the staff and all the kids are all smiling greeting you on the way in uh, and it really welcomes you to the week ahead. I love history obviously but also a complete politics nerd and uh, massively sport obsessed I'm from the south so not quite understanding rugby league just yet but I'm getting there. Looking forward to seeing you in September um, Better. See you soon. Bye. So I'll say goodbye for now and I'll see you all in September. Bye. So looking forward to seeing you. Um, take care. Best of luck. And if we can, hopefully we'll see you before um, September. Looking forward to seeing you all next year. See you soon. I hope to see you soon. Bye. See you soon. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Bing boing bing bing boing bing boing bing boing bing boing bing boing bing bing boing 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 bing and have actually learned how to play a few different instruments. The teachers are always very supportive and make sure everyone's okay. They are always there for advice and you can see your form teacher every day if you need to. I really hope you enjoy Spen as much as I do. Bye. Hi, I'm Jack Duros, the current head boy at Spen Valley High School. I hope you're all safe and well in these difficult times at the moment, but hopefully things will return back to normal in the near future. I know you year six is coming up to spend and get the normal transition that you usually would but I'm here to tell you about the things I appreciate the most when I when I had my five years at Spen. 
As you know, it'll be a completely different environment to what you're used to at primary school, but the teachers are extremely friendly and help you in the, in the circumstances that you need them, and they're always there for you. They certainly helped me through my times at Spen. And I won't be able to see you when you come up to Spen, but I hope you enjoy your time at Spen as much as I did. Stay safe. I can still remember Joe's first day at high school, meeting up with his friends from primary school, all giggling, having photos taken in the They Will Grow Into It blazer. I was a nervous wreck, clock watching all day, but he had an amazing day and was looking forward to the next day. This is true of his experience at Spen Valley High. He tried his best and worked his hardest, well, almost all of the time, and therefore gained the respect from the staff. He had a very positive attitude to learning had a fabulous positive experience throughout his time here. On a personal level, I would like to thank every single member of staff that has taught Joseph. He really has loved his time at Spen and misses you all terribly. Hi, I'm a mum of three kids, two of whom have already left Spen Valley High and one is in currently in year seven. Spen Valley has always been a good school, but over the last couple of years it has become a great school. The teachers have always gone the extra mile for all their kids, but now the management team lead the way in outstanding care and attitude towards students, dealing with any issue quickly and comprehensively. The students' welfare is definitely viewed as important as their academic capabilities. <clears throat> I know you and your child are going to have many fears and questions about starting high school. My youngest did, even though she had two older siblings there. But I know that whatever worries you have will be forgotten as soon as you get here. Hi, by now you'll have met most of the key people that you need to know at SPEN, but there's two members of staff here that you won't have met already. This is Ted and Steve, our wellbeing dogs. Steve's not behaving himself because I've got a biscuit in my hand. They're here every Friday, they take it in turns, and if you're feeling a bit anxious or you want to take a, a, one of the dogs for a walk, you can do so with a member of staff, or if you just want to talk to them because you're feeling a bit fed up, you can do so as well. So, Steve, Ted, Ted, he's ignoring me, here he comes. So, in September, if you want to work with any of these, you can do so as well. Say bye, Steve. Bye, see you soon.